In June 2018, KBU Radio will celebrate 50 years of broadcasting. As we approach this milestone, we honor our history with this reflection on the past. Hi, I'm Wade Hockett, occasionally known as the Mighty Hawk. I started the first uh, Kibu Country Music Program in the early mid 1970s, which still continues to this day. And then I started another country music show in the early 90s, and I'm still doing it at this time. The c- first country music show was called Boo Country or Kibu Country. They were selling off old LPs, and you can buy a discount. They were like they were like a dollar ninety nine each, or two for three dollars. And so I would go and try and buy records every week for the show. And there was a slight uh, a library here, but I think the first show, and the first show I only did like it was like an hour or something like that. I think I had like eighteen records or something to work from. I don't think there was so much of a library that I can think of. Did mm-hmm. you come to KBU with that in mind, or how? how? Yeah, I, I, I'd been listening to KBU. I'd heard of it. A friend of mine had done this college radio thing. I was like, "Well, I could do that. That'd be cool." And nobody was doing anything like this. So I went to the station and I talked to was the then manager, who was, I believe, John Ross, and said I wanted to be a <laughs> DJ. And I can't repeat the disgust with which he said. You want to play commercial country music? <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, they weren't too interested. But then this slot opened up, and they didn't have anybody to do it, so uh, I started doing that. That was Wade Hockett, host of Noontime Jamboree on KBU, with a moment from KBU's history. KBU celebrates 50 years of broadcasting in 2018.